Today's episode is all about a young lady by the name of Karen Bordador. Hi, my name's Karen Bordador. I hope you remember me from last time. <laughs> Point one, what's up everyone? She is a radio DJ and a model, influencer. She has somewhat of a, a following and me and her both share a lot of mutual friends since we're in the entertainment industry and she has spent the last five years in jail. Patong patong na reklamo ang isinang palaban sa isang DJ sa impila ng radyo na si Karen Bordador. Which she just got acquitted of her charges. She was just released from jail. But we're gonna get into how she feels, you know, spending these last five years getting them stripped away from her and what it's like living in a women's jail here in the Philippines. And get some insight also as well as the bureaucratic process of this whole thing. So here we go. In my jail, there were three cells, unit one, two, and three. I was in unit three. Unit three, it was a cell for non-drugs. How they divide a cell is per case. And there were more drug cases then. So that's one and two, and then three are more of the professionals, like qualified theft or other cases. So I was placed there because they were more, uh, you were in like the theft area. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so there's three, there's like three categories. No, no, just like there's a lot. Like there's a lot. There's yeah. a lot of cases. It's just that there's the third unit. It's more. There, it varies. Like their cases varies. Unlike the other cells, it's only drug cases. Ako nilagay ako dun sa mga mga professionals. Because when you say qualified theft, they're most likely from corporations. Okay, so it's not it's not like snatcher theft. Like when politicians steal money. That type qualified of theft. theft. That's yeah, qualified parang, parang theft. Well, that's more of if you steal money from a corporation, from your company. Yeah. So this is consistent from what I've heard in the male cells, mm -hmm. uh, the the whole hierarchy thing. But it still sounds a little better in your cell because for theirs, they, they literally can't move. And for, yeah. I have people who like actually went and saw that. Yeah. And like it's. You can't move. Like, there's no area to move. So at least you can move your arms and... When you're sleeping, okay. But when people are standing up, there's space. But of course, in the sleeping time, uh -huh. everyone's like on the floor. That's when there's absolutely no way. I mean, even walking to the CR, parang sometimes you don't want to go to the bathroom anymore because you have to go through so many bodies. I used to call it cadavers as a joke. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh my gosh, dead bodies. Because you have to walk over people and <laughs> yeah. stuff. And sometimes you accidentally wake them up. So I do a peace sign. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Just to get to the CR. And so it's this this room. I'm still trying to visually picture. Yeah. It's just beds and cabinets. And a, a toilet, yeah. And a toilet. And which, of course, there's a TV. There's one TV or one like TV. Multiple, one TV? One TV. Does this everyone, is the old jail. Uh, everyone yeah, crowds one. around the TV. To oh, yeah. It. Is it on all day? The TV is like a big deal in a jail. Like that's the source of entertainment. That's the source of people's happiness. And that's the source of fights too. When they, Interesting. <laughs> when they place it like on a channel that these people don't like or there's a show that someone likes but then nobody's watching, it becomes a fight. Mm -hmm. You know, like being able to control the remote control is a big deal. It means you're a leader or you're a trusted person. Parang, it's like a wand, a magic wand. If you have the remote control, you have the you power. Have power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, is the jail, like, would you say it's dirty or do you guys clean it all day? How, how does that work, the hygiene? So people clean, like we have cleaners upon entry. Not you guys, you guys don't. No, it's all us. Oh, okay. There are no janitors there. Okay, the officers will not clean. It's going to be all us. Like we take care of ourselves. So once you enter the jail, you have like a job. Mm -hmm. This is Do your... they give you the job? Yeah. And who gives you the job? The is leader. it the mayor? Yeah, Do they the call mayor. it the mayor? Mayora. Okay, so Pero... in the women's cell, it's Mayora. I know in the male cell, it's the mayor. She's, she's the head of that unit, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mayora. So, but then now, they call it coordinators. So basically, you coordinate needs of your cell to the officers. Or so you just mediate everything. Yeah. You're just the head of that cell so you better make sure they're disciplined or you're dead <laughs> and and she is a how, how is this lady the coordinator mayora is she she's appointed by everyone inside those trusted so it's like she's voted in yes you thing. get voted so it's so 
The system in the jail is somewhat democratic, would you say? Uh, I've seen dictatorship okay. <laughs> type of style. <laughs> it depends per cell. Sure, sure. sure. I, and I realize it depends also on the characters of people inside. But for our cells, it's democratic. Okay. Oh, yeah, because there's the three different cell types. Yeah. Uh -oh. The different types I've of people. I've seen dictatorship there. Like, I've seen all kinds of, like, okay. uh, injustice uh, type of leadership. But ours, it was democratic. It was pretty good. Yeah. And is she, like, a, a strong individual? Is she scary? Is she nice? Is she You know, all you gotta be all, I realize, to be a leader. You have to be all. Yeah, you gotta... She's feared and she's loved. Yeah. And also, she knows how to play with you. <laughs> if you liked what you saw and you want to listen to the full episode, then download Spotify and follow us at Superhuman with Will Dasevich. It's completely free. It's linked below and easy to use.